can go to auto. Push back's finished. And we can go to the, uh, where's the stat page? Here we go. Oh, no, it's flight controls. Of course it's flight controls. Trim has got 6.8. And we'll set flaps to 20. And as that happens, just check out the hydraulics. They're all in the green, so uh, we can do our flight control check. Okay, full left. Full right. All the way down, and all the way up. Everything's back to neutral, it is, right good, full rudder, right and left, yep, good, flag shells checked, trimmed into 6.8, R2 is set, flats coming down to 20, checklist, anti -test is needed, so that will be going on, I mean they are on auto, but just making sure that they are on, like so, and has that clicked out yet? No. We will just wait. There we go. I turn on the packs again. And AP does not need to be needed anymore. And hello. Thank you. Recall checked. Flag controls have been checked. Map is now clear. Our takeoff checklist is next. Cool. Okay. You know what? Let's use this. And Corinna 035 is ready for sexy. So that went right over my head. Could you uh, repeat <laughs> Korean Air 035? Just double check that I've done this right. Okay, taxi via Romeo 1, then left and to Alpha, and down Alpha to Alpha 4, then I'll go for 33 three left, Corinna is uh, 035. That is uh, a weird taxi. Yes, Romeo 1, then 8 Echo, then you make right turn into Alpha, Alpha 4, then go. 8 Echo? What's the end of that? Okay, 8 Echo, and then uh, on the right and down for Karina at 0, 3, 5. I know what's in that. We just can't see it on that chart. Uh, right, let's just go. And. Uh, I now use the Aviation Lads one. Right, tax light on. As we just get a bit of power, we will go and edit clip here. Ground charts, and we'll go to. Uh, parking docking chart. Here we go, complete this. And as you can tell, we're currently on Romeo 1 here, and A Echo is this thing here, as you can see. Right. Are we moving? No, we need a lot more power than what we got. Alex, shut up, man. Yeah, my new preset is the aviation lads. It just brightens up the cockpit a bit more. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, my chair's not central, but um, I don't know if you noticed it to be a bit brighter than it used to be. So, 8 Echo should be one of these bad boys. I don't know why I didn't say, like, uh, turn left onto, like, uh, Romeo 11, which is what 8 Echo is. It's just the intersection. Um, as you can see, at Romeo 11, that's where we're going to go. No, don't worry, Jack is a friend. He's just being an idiot. He doesn't know anything about aviation. Other than, I like aviation. That's something about aviation he knows about. Which makes loads of sense. Um, righty ho. What's visual mod? Visual mod is just the, the, the name that Aviation Lads have, have named it, really. Um, there's A Echo. That's just what the Aviation Lads have named it. 
it's just visual mod. <laughs> so you can use it for PTA, tomato shade, reshade, and I think, yeah, that's it. If I can get reshade, I can use that reshade preset basically, and, uh, and textures. Alpha here, and my sim could probably look a lot better, but reshade in the, uh, doesn't really work on its latest version. It's like an old version of reshade. Maybe it's been updated because I remember Chewy um, on one of his uh, streams it said that he did reshade. So maybe it's been updated and it now works at P3D. I'm not too sure. However, I don't know. Right. Let's get a bit faster down this. Yeah, it's working. Alright. Oh, Haha. <laughs> Oh, Alex. Yeah, this, this airport's great in frame rate. I mean, the aircraft is as well. As well, the frame rate's amazing. Jay Kelly, hi. 3.0.5. There's a version 3 now. The line. I'm pretty sure, like this, around this time last year, Alex, we had a t photo of me, you, and Gamago. December. Yeah, about a year ago. Yeah, basically, um, full power D rate of 1 is our departure today. Actually, no, it's not. That's a lie. It's uh, least power. Because we can make the uh, N1 a bit higher than what we've, what we've got. If we adjust the slight temp to about 40 degrees or something, I bet it'll be a lot. Oh, actually, 20, between 20 and 30 would be the maximum. And one for D rate 1, but whatever. Right, alpha 5 is there, and alpha 4, basically all the way to the end, maybe. Okay. Uh, Thopat? Uh, what the hell's Thopat? Oh, yes, Thopat 3.0. Then for my Rex Skyforce 3D, yes. I use that. Line of and wait for to do left. Mid, uh, what's that? Fifty takeoff, 3 3 left, Korean S, 3 3 5. Negative, line up and wait. L line up and wait, sorry, Korean S, uh, 3 3 5. Sorry, I got too, head too head over myself. And that turn was way too fast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna take off, you know, because that Korean Air cargo is just gonna cross the runway. Uh, uh, oh, nice. There are just some airports you need to know how they work. It's like Gatwick, because they didn't know, I didn't know there was a thing called. Uh, 83 or whatever it's called again. Um, yeah. AE. Right, we need to wait for this dude, that lineup is uh, a bit off. Wing and Jazz is not even on, I don't know why. Let's put it on to auto then. That's the engine anti ice. <laughs> Just that, there we go. It's so heavy, idle doesn't even get us anywhere, but whatever. Look at that lineup. Absolutely beautiful. And now we're clear for takeoff. 3 3 left, Corinna 035 heavy. 
Okay, so Tika set to T A I, which is the one straight up. About 50% and one. And Toga's over there, isn't it? Yeah. Toga! Uh, so that was very anticlimactic, actually. It's supposed to be a lot beefier than that. But anyway, thrust is now set. Airspeed is alive. Eighty knots. Center the runway. We're not that far off though. There we go. B1. B1. And now I can see why it doesn't want us to do D rate 2. Rotate. And off the ground, pause the rate. Gear up. <laughs> oh, yes. Absolutely beautiful. Unicorn wants to go this way. Have a nice flight. Unicorn wants two deaths. Thank you very much, Karina. Zero three five. Okay. Watch the watch out for the sky. Yeah, I know, right? It's scary, dangerous. There we are. I thought we could do the really nice departure, but nope. We'll do the. Yeah, I mean, this is alright. It lives. It lives alright. I mean, we go over the city, but the other view looked really nice. When I last flew out of here uh, on the one Lima, one Sierra, whatever the departure was called. Um, acceleration altitude. Interesting, messed up. Oh, nice, Jack. Nice. What happens if there's a bird? Well, you're pretty screwed, aren't you? Anyway, once pilot is on. Yeah, exactly, get him again. <laughs> uh, it's enough to turn us. Yeah, it's, it does have a fair few of hills, I must say. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, uh, I've given the new CRJ Professional, yes, I've gone and bought that. Uh, but, given that a little test, uh, or, or, um, at Beijing Daxing, 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 Airport. It's a nice airport, and it's a nice aircraft. But the FS Lab simulates a bird strike. I mean, I've never done that before, as in, seriously. As in professionally, that, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, then it once as a joke. You could do it on the ground though, because the birds are just flying to you, like on the ground, and the engine's going fire. But yeah, right. Um, oh, I forgot to put that back to when I misclicked. Just waiting for the flaps to come up all the way. And then next altitude. Yeah, that's going to be so fat and heavy. There we go. Cool. Uh, we're going to add student to be in all of this stuff. That was crap. Say goodbye to it. We need to get a bit higher so we can cancel the other ones uh, anymore. No. Actually, that can go to progress. That can to legs. And we go to 330 up here. 330. Like so. All the way up. No speed shushing, nothing. Alright, should be landing 15 tons of fuel, 14.22 Zulu, that is in sim time, this current time in the sim is uh, 1.40 Zulu, it's, it's like 12 hours behind, no it's not 12 hours, it's uh, 19 hours behind. So whatever that is, minus 19 is our arrival time, plus 19 sorry, so 14 plus 19, 
minus 24. There we are, 9.22 in the morning UK time.